Welcome back to Aliens. My name is Savin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about modules in Node.js. Now one of the reasons why Node.js is so famous is because of NPM, right, which is Node Package Manager. And we have discussed about it, right? So last year we got one more than 1 million packages or modules uh, on NPM. So that means we can use all those modules to build our application. But then what are modules? Now you can imagine modules as a small encapsulated units which you can reuse, which you can share with everyone, and which are easier to maintain. Now, okay, so I know it is getting confused, right? Now think about this. We have a big application or we have a big problem. Now to solve a big problem, the first step should be break down your big problem into small problems. And then each small problem will have a small solution. And we can name that small solution as a module, right? Or maybe you can just break, break that small modules into more small modules and then you can have a small part. Now the advantage of making that small part is it is easier to maintain because it's a, it's a, it has less code, it is easier to share, and it is easier to debug, right? So maintenance, debugging, and sharing is, is an important thing. Now this concept is there in most of the languages or technologies, and this concept is called modularity, right? So you have to create small modules. Um, so example, maybe you can create a module using which you can connect with database. You can create a module using which you can, can you can uh, write data to the file. Maybe you can you can create a module which will be uh, good for calculations. So maybe you can create a small module calculation which will have addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and you can use this module in any of your project. You can you can share this module with everyone in this world and they can use it. Of course, for that you can just you just you just have to publish your module uh, to the npm. And even if you don't want to publish, you can reuse your own modules, right? Uh, so that's the thing. But now in Node.js, they have inbuilt modules. If you remember, in one of the videos, we have talked about HTTP module, which is an inbuilt module in Node.js. So if you, if you want to use it, you just have to use a function called require. Uh, likewise, we have multiple modules, and you can use it. So basically, Node.js has some inbuilt modules. You can create your own modules as well. I know, that's exciting, right? And then you can use some third-party uh, modules if you want from NPM. So in this video, our main focus would be how to create a module and how to use it. So we are not going to use any existing modules. We are not going to use any module from NPM, but let's create one. Now for that, let's create a small code. So we have uh, app.js here, and I would just wanted to add two numbers. And then we have seen it, right, how to add two numbers. But in this case, I will be creating a function to add two numbers. Uh, so let's say I have console.log and I just, I just want to print the output. So I will say output is and plus I will say result. Okay, I don't have this variable yet, but hold on. Uh, let me get this variable. So I will say result is equal to. So I want to create a function which will give me the output. Uh, but which function? So let, let's call that function as add. And this will take two parameters. One is four and five. And this return the result. Okay, so four plus five is nine, right? So this result should get nine, but hold down. Uh, even if you try to run this code, so let's run this code, let's see what happens. I will say app.js, you will get an error. It says add is not defined. That's right, we have this function, we are using this function, but where it is defined? It's not an inbuilt function. And so basically we have to create one. So let's create a function here. Now, how do we do that? You know, if you're familiar with JavaScript, it's very simple. Just a function, mention the function name, and you have to pass two parameters. I will say a comma b. Uh, and here, you just have to say return a plus b. That's how you add two numbers. Quite simple, right? Uh, now, what do you think? Will it work? Let's try. Let's go back to our console and say app.js. It worked. You can see we got the output as well. It says the output is 9. So this is working. But then where is the module here? The thing is, whenever you want to perform operation and if you want to create a module, the best thing you can do is Create a, create a separate file. Because in this case, we just have one function. Maybe you have more functions. So you can put all those things in a separate file. Uh, let me create one then. So let me just go back to my app. And here I will create maybe calc.js. That sounds better. Now in this calc, I just want to create this function. So I will go back here. I will say cut and I will paste it here. So basically I have this function in a separate JS file. And I want to use it here. Now will this work? Let's try. Let's see if this works. And if I say Node.js, we got the output. That's weird. Maybe I have not saved it. I was expecting error, but anyway. So you can see we got an error. It says add is not defined. And that's right. In app.js, we don't have app function defined or add function defined. OK, now that's simple, right? We just have to inform app, hey, you are looking for add, but add is not there in, this, in the same JS file. It's there in the calc in a separate module. 
but how will you do that and to mention that we have to use a very powerful function which is require i know it's not that powerful but it's powerful behind the scene uh, so require function you just have to mention the name of the module or the file in this case uh, the module name is calc.js so you have to say calc.js and then this calc.js belongs to the same folder and that's the reason we are going to say dot slash this is not a inbuilt module right so we have to we are creating our own in the same directory so you have to say dot slash and you have to mention the the module name now will this work let's try uh, okay oh we got an error now what is going wrong here now first of all when you say require require will simply say hey i want calc.js but then it will not continue that scope after this line if you want to continue the scope if you re if you want to reuse that calc.js let's put that in a separate uh, folder or separate uh, object we'll say calc so now what we're doing is we are creating a reference to refer to this particular module which is calc in this case this name can be anything okay so it's not compulsion that your module name is calc.js so if you have to give calc it can be anything it can be abc it can be pqr it doesn't matter but once you've got the reference you can simply call this add by saying calc.add is that simple right now if you are coming from other languages like java or c sharp quite simple right it's just an object and you're calling a function not exactly let's try let's see what happens let's run this code again we got the error it says calc.add is not a function that's weird it's a function right we know it's a function we have get to that function here see the thing is uh, if you remember when we talked about modules in the start of the video i've mentioned that modules are encapsulated unit which means encapsulated means these functions will be available in the same module of course for this for the reason for security uh, but then i want to use this function outside the module in some other module is it possible uh, the answer is yes but how we do that so we have to mention see in this calc.js if you have 10 functions maybe you don't want all the functions outside now those functions will be used in the same in the same js file okay but then what if i want to use two function outside now for that you have to use a very special command which is module or a statement uh, module dot exports so basically you have to export all the function which you want the the outside world to use it right uh, but then how will you do that so you have to say modules dot export and you have to mention add what you want to export so in this case i'm exporting add it's that simple uh, but will this work i don't know let's try uh, so this is one thing so we, we, so if you want this particular function to be used outside just mention modules dot export equal to add and let's get back here i hope this will work Oh, it's not working it says not a function now in this case you have to mention the label as well so you have to say modules.export.add equal to add so basically you're assigning this add to this add which you can use it here okay because if you don't if you don't mention this add then the only solution you have is go back here and don't mention add so you just use calc as a function because you are exporting add which goes to the calc here so this calc become add i know that's a bit complicated so that's why i don't use this type of syntax here so it works you can see now we're exporting so the actual syntax we're going to use is you have to say modules dot expose dot add equal to add so that you can simply use calc dot add it's it's it, it, it looks comfortable right looking at this code now so basically calc is an object or a reference for the module and you're calling the add function uh, and then you have to use this now does that mean okay so let's try this will this is it working so it is working but does this mean that you can have only one function what if you have multiple functions and you want to export them in that case if you have multiple functions let's say i have one more function here which is function sub and this will take of course two parameters a comma b and here i will say return a minus b now in this case you have to say module dot exports dot sub is equal to sub now you can use this sub outside so you can call this function sub and it will it will it will work for you simple right okay so this looks cool now i want to so that's one way right but then don't you think this writing these modules multiple times is, uh, is time consuming so you can skip that you can simply focus only on exports so you can say expose.sub and expose.add even that works let's save this and let's verify that if that works so it is working so instead of using modules you can use exports as well because you know behind the scene they are mentioning they're basically using a shorthand which is exports 
are equal to module dot exports okay so this this is this is something which is behind the scene you don't don't have to mention that so even if you say expos dot add it 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 works so that's one way the other way is what if you don't want to use this way so it's quite simple you can come back here and you can say exports dot add is equal to function so you can use you can do this as well you are exporting here itself okay now this also works so you can see we got the output so basically that's how you create a module in node.js it's quite simple right uh, so we have seen how to use existing modules we have seen in this video how to create your own module and try it out create multiple modules maybe you can add two numbers maybe you can create a module which will uh, which will calculate the prime number or it will check the prime number which will calculate the factorial your choice right maybe you can create a module which will write data in database try it out and let me know in the comment section if you're able to do that and if you want to use a modular module you have to say require and one thing important if you want the functions from the module to be used outside use exports very important so that's it from this video where we have talked about modules uh, and we'll see some more concepts in in the future videos i hope you're enjoying the series let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos bye bye